I'm Dan Galusha and welcome to another edition of Shoot and Plank. Today we've got the old Buckmark Medallion back with us. Alright, Browning Buckmark Medallion. We're going to be shooting some long range here. I just thought for the heck of it, we're going to bring it out, we're going to see what it does a little bit longer range. You know, most of the time you're shooting, what, 10, 15 yards? Very seldom do you go back to 20. I mean, I know some people go back to 25 and on. We're going to be going probably about 30 yards here. You can see the target up there, I think. We got it there. We don't have the other one up above. I was going to do that, but, uh, well, we haven't done it. So anyway, I've got one of our stickers, like we got on that thing. I'm going to zoom you in so you can see what I'm doing. I'm going to fire 30 rounds. Um, I'm going to fire um, the uh, Browning BPR, and that's a regular lead point. And that one, I'm going to fire a couple of magazines of that. And then probably the in-between one, I'm going to shoot Remington hollow points through the gold bullet. And we'll see how that performs too. So uh, I'm not going to see how well each one of them performs that well, naturally. Not until I actually look at this video, but you will because you're going to be looking right at the target. So let's fire some rounds and, uh, and we'll take a look at it after that. Now we'll try some hollow points. And we got ten more rounds. Shoot those. Okay, we're going to go take a look at that target. You've been looking at it. I haven't. Well, I walked up and got the target. Uh, there it is. Like I said, you've seen it as it was happening. Looks like I got some rounds. That's what I like about these stickers. You know, that that's great because... You can shoot a steel and actually see where you're hitting. You're not just hearing a lot of clanging back there and say, oh yeah, I'm hitting the target. Fine and dandy. If you really want to see how that thing's in there, these stickers are great. I forget what I got them for. Bought them on Amazon.com. There's like 250 in a roll. Anyway, but you do shoot one up in a hurry. I will say that. 250 is not going to last long if you do a lot of shooting. Uh, but that was hitting close to the bullseye. Got a few up here for some reason. Uh, but still must have all been within this area so you know that's that's not bad for that gun shooting a longer distance like that the bug marks a great gun anyway and that medallion is just just super there's no doubt about it lay this thing down for a bit how about that pick up the gun too while I'm at it huh since we're talking about it uh, let you see it again. That's a beauty, isn't it? That is a nice gun. And the sights, I mean, we've done the review, the whole thing. Sights are adjustable back here both ways. You've got it right over here for your windage, your elevations right up here. You know, that makes it real, real nice. And what I like about this is that fiber optic that's on the front. Uh, I do wish that it had the white pro sight in the back, but they don't have that one on this model, so or have two fiber optic specter. That'd be good too. Yeah. But I guess I was doing well enough with it anyway. So until next time, shoot safe and have a great day of plinking.
just for the heck of it, I hung the big gong up about 40 yards. So now let's see if we hit this thing. Well, hit it for a few shots, not a lot of them, but like I said, I'm back 40 yards now.